Good morning, everybody. It's Ryan from Tweak My Device. Um, today, I want to show you how to get free wireless tethering on your Droid Bionic. So, we're going to start by looking here at the mobile hotspot. I'm going to try to start it up, and we'll see that we get an error message. Not that one, but when it checks provisioning, it will see that I have no account set up for this. All right, order cannot be processed. So it wants me to call that number and and pay for this. Well, I don't really want to do that. So if you don't want to do that either, what you can do is download SQ Lite from the market. Okay, so just go right here in your app drawer to the market. And when you get SQ Lite, you have to be rooted for this. And here's asking for super user root access. We're going to allow that. You're going to look for a settings storage file. Uh, there's two of them, but you want the one that has Motorola in the name. All right, make sure you guys can see that. Right here, settings storage. Okay, then open the settings database and then settings again and then here there's a lot of things here you see how small my scroll bar is so if you want to set a filter put in check okay and then you see entitlement check right there alright the one means that it is going to check for that so we need to change that So just tap and hold on that area, backspace it, and we're going to change that to zero. So it does not run that entitlement check. And now what we're going to do is just reboot our device. And we're just going to power down. Okay, so we're back up and running. And I'm going to show you real quick uh, that this works. So we just did our hack and rebooted. We just edited our database. So let's go in here to the mobile hotspot. And we're going to tap to start that. And we should not get the first message because I checked for that not to show up anymore. Uh, cool, here we go. And if you're, if you're having any problems, um, you know, connecting. Uh, it's recommended to change this to that. So you can go in here and uh, change the access point name. Let's do something different. And we'll save it. Just telling you that you modified the the address there. Okay, so it's restarting. Tethering or mobile hotspot active. All right, so that should be running. Now, let's take a look at our at our netbook down here. We're going to change networks, and we're going to hop on to to our, our brand new Android network. Okay, so let's disconnect from that. Okay, here's the one we just did. Connect automatically. I didn't realize we had a security key. Let's check that out. Ah, there is a password. Let's just put in one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven eight. All right. So then down here, one two three four five six seven eight, and we should connect and be able to browse the internet. You may have to connect and disconnect a few times 
um, to get it to work the first time. Connection is taking longer than usual. Okay, so let's close that and we'll try it again. Let's disconnect. And while that's disconnected, I'm also going to stop it here on the phone. Okay, then let's start it up again. Now our Bionic is tethering. So we have the, the connection to my EPC. Uh, we are connected down here on the network. There's no error messages. Of course I have great signal strength because it's like five inches away from the computer. Let's look at the Droid X forums. And again this is, I named it I Can Has Internet, as you can see right there. Alright, so that's what it's actually running on. So everything's good to go. Um, this was a, a super easy hack. And you guys should definitely give it a shot and do this instead of paying Verizon all that extra money. Uh, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos from Tweak My Device.